Hezbollah has announced Naim Qasim as its new head. The 71-year-old whose promotion from deputy leader was announced on October the 29th replaces Hassan Nasrallah as Secretary General of the Lebanon-based armed group. In a statement, Hezbollah said Qasim was elected to take up the position due to his adherence to the principles and goals of Hezbollah. So who is new Hezbollah chief Naim Qasim? News 9 Plus decodes. Naim Qasim has often been referred to as Hezbollah's number two. With a long history in Shia political activism, he's one of the religious scholars who founded the group in the early 1980s. In 1991, Abbas al Musawi, the group's then Secretary General, appointed him as Deputy Chief. He retained his position under Nasrallah after al Musawi was assassinated by Israel in 1992. He was the most prominent Hezbollah official to continue making public appearances after Nasrallah went into hiding, following the 2006 war with Israel. Qasim has made three televised appearances since Nasrallah was killed. On September 30th, while also discussing the succession of leadership of Hezbollah, he said the group remains ready to fight and win against Israel. What are the biggest challenges before the new Hezbollah chief? As the new leader, Qasim faces the challenge of navigating Hezbollah's complex relationships with neighboring powers including Iran and Syria. What is Qasim's stance on Iran? Despite the setbacks suffered during the recent bombardment of Lebanon, Qasim has insisted that the Iran-linked armed group will continue to fight, stating that Israel has not affected Hezbollah's military capabilities. In a televised address, Qasim also undermined the role of the US, naming them an Israeli partner culturally, politically and financially, calling out their unlimited military support. The former deputy added, we will win, just as we won in our confrontation with Israel in 2006. So how did Israel create a leadership crisis in Hezbollah? Hassan Nasrallah was killed in Beirut in September by an Israeli airstrike. Many other senior Hezbollah officials have also been targeted since Israel turned its focus on the group. The group, having already lost much of its leadership due to months of assassinations by Israel, viewed Nasrallah's cousin Hashim Safiyadeen as a favourite to take the helm. But Safiyadeen was also killed shortly after Nasrallah, after an Israeli strike in Beirut. After a month of speculation amidst Hezbollah's steadily depleting ranks, Qasim was finally announced as the new leader by Hezbollah's decision-making Shura Council.